Hello and welcome everyone to this week's Dragon Fable Book 3 Story. This week we are going to meet an old hero. We are going to do the Malorus Saga, but before that we are going to do the old uh, reimagined that happened last week that happened in this week's update we are going to be doing that uh, talking difficult first we are going to equip the cryptic class using the new way of walking which I quite enjoy actually um, and then we are going to do the reimagining of BFC, which is the. Let me go ahead and see. It is the a hero for the people, as you might remember. Maybe not though. Um, the last time we did one of these quests that were reimagined, supply and demand we found out that we were going to ash to ask for new things to do that is to ask for new supplies to keep this entire colony going we left at ash saying that he would look into it now in a hero of the people Let's see exactly what Ash's reply is. So, how did your visit to Falcon Reach go? Was Ash able to help with our supply issue? After being frozen for so long, everyone's older. Falcon Reach has changed, the world's changed. But moments like this, they still feel the same, don't they, Fluffy? Yeah. This is nice, though. Yeah. But outside of Falcon Reach, with the roads and the wind, I guess Hansa wasn't so bad, but what the Rose is doing in the Trebling Swamp is... Well, we're heroes, right? It's up to us to do what's right. <laughs> I hope Ash can get everything sorted out for the Vin's supply lines. Pardon my eavesdropping, but did you mention supplies? Oh, I'm sorry, Spruce. Was I talking too loud? You're fine, Jaina. I should be the one to apologize. I couldn't help but overhear. But then, um, setting up any supply lines at all might be difficult right now. I heard some traveling merchants mention that they ju uh, just barely escaped some giant monster on the road south of here. I think the Rose was going to send a patrol to make sure everything is safe, but if what the merchant said was true, it might take a real hero, like you, Jaina. A and you too, Fluffy. Please don't eat me. I'm sorry, I know you're trying to take a break. I'll get back to work. I it's okay, Spruce. Even if Ash manages to convince the Guardians to help, if the Rose is patrolling the area and there's a monster, I guess it's up to us, right, Fluffy? Maybe, maybe tomorrow? Yeah, you're right. We've earned a rest. Good morning, Jaina, Fluffy. So, there's good news and bad news. 
The good news is that I got the Guardians to agree to help. Apparently there are even some people in Swordhaven who aren't exactly fans of the Rose. So once we get communications up and running, the Vint should be able to get all the funding and supplies they need. As for the bad news... The monster? Oh, you've heard? Spruce mentioned it last evening in the inn. It seems like some sort of creature is attacking merchants and travelers on the road south. Everyone so far has managed to escape with their lives, but at the cost of any goods they're carrying. A supply chain would probably be easy prey for such a monster. But the Rose has sent a patrol, but... Fluffy and I were planning to take a look for ourselves anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Chena. This music is so awesome. I really like it. It has a bit of the Shire feel, which I really like, so... Uh, also, these monsters are funny and we haven't seen this model since the star, since the middle of book two where there was a monster a darkling i think that was a purple version of this without the random objects stuck in the hordling With that, we've won. But yeah, I really like the music they've chosen for this quest. And I really like the way that it's going now, because uh, the trauma is being shown more. And that sounds really sadistic now that I think about it. But the our hero, Jaina in this case, has been stuck for a long time. Everyone we knew were kids have grown up. The people that we used to mentor, because in the side story for Ash Dragonblade, you can see that our character really does mentor the little kids that want to be heroes. Everything. They have all grown up and they have changed the world has changed even though we haven't been here for a long time and dragon fable was already focusing on that sort of stuff when the uh, when this team took over this current writing team however the past writing team was nowhere near as good as this current one is at taking a look at things. So now we can actually see what is going on, how it feels for our hero and everything. And that is really amazing to actually see for once. So I really, really enjoyed this current take on it all. And then the saga we're going to do the first part of this week. Because I think this will be at least a two-parter. Uh, is also very interesting. And it is not order versus chaos. But change versus stagnation in the end. It is that. But at the start, at the start, it is different take on whether religion is, I don't want to say good or evil, 
but it is religion and stagnation versus change and chaos and I really think they handled it very well especially at the end the end of this sa uh, coming saga is amazing and since it's a Friday the 13th saga the epilogue the final final epilogue is something we will have to wait on for a little while because I don't think that we have seen the complete ending of it all and we will be getting one of the best trinkets for stats in the game though I don't think we will be able to use it a lot at the start because I do believe that the amalgam we get or the charge blaster really is a level 50 accessory if I remember correctly it's a level 91 Let's see if this works. No. <sighs> so, word of warning the coming saga will feature puns. Lots of puns in the names. That is because the naming convention in the land that our companion is going to be from is based on puns. It's all based on puns. Which can be annoying. Can also be fun though. And here we see more from the rose and the fact that not everyone is cartoonishly evil stand back we don't know what this monster will do next this isn't the place for wait jaina hi it's it's really you um hello do i know you i well you saved me years ago i am Sorry, you might have to be more specific. Uh huh. I suppose you've saved a lot of people, haven't you? You and Fluffy. Uh huh. You were my inspiration to join the Rose. You were a lot of people's inspiration, really. The uh monster is a. Uh... And now you've come to my rescue once more, Captain. Uh, yes, Scout, was there something? This monster, Captain. Also, hi, Jaina. Maybe we should deal with the problem at hand first. Yeah, right. And now we face the insidious order. It's a single enemy, so we don't really have a lot to worry about. As long as I don't mess up the rotations. Though there are certain points where it is a bit worse. Also, yes, this one gets Hoarder Rage every time you uh, don't let it rummage through your bag. This will be a bit of a problem because it gets stronger every time. See, it's now 10, 20. Eventually, it will go through our shields. 
unfortunately, at that point, we will be uh, able to burst it down already. Though... Maybe not all of it will be as easy as it was when I was using the glass cannon class. Also, we have gotten new reforged classes. This will be very interesting to show off. However, one of the reforged classes is still being worked on. This is annoying. But it's not the worst. I have the base version of that class, not the reforged one. So I can show that one as a way to show off what that class can do. Um, let's see, yeah, let's just stun it, bam, that will work. And now with that one, we can show off. Um, yes, and now we've won, and we can see more politics at work. Good job, Jaina. Now, let's get this thing shackled up before it wakes up. The shackles? Wait, stop! What's wrong with the shackles? Rose the shackles, you're enslaving the monster? Jaina, what are you talking about? Yeah, Jaina, what are you talking about? Haven't you seen what's happened to imprisoned clock and, and other creatures besides? Even dragons! What are you talking about, Jaina? What clock and what dragons? We use these to pacify creatures so that we may transfer them into the care of the beast master. Back in Swordhaven. I would have thought that would be something you would approve of, Chena. It never occurred to me to use these as tools of enslavement. So, even within the Rose, you don't know everything that's going on? I... If anyone else came up with these wild allegations, I'd have missed them, dismissed them without second thought, but... Jaina, explain. The think of a uh, Rose Captain. You really weren't aware of the operations in Betrayal Swamp. I, I had some friends assigned to it. I heard it was dangerous. You know, I heard the rumors, but you've seen it for yourself, Jaina. I have. All the atrocity the Rose has been committing. In the name of keeping people safe. They burned down a clock in settlement. They manipulated dragons and attacked the camp of peaceful Dravir. You really haven't heard about any of it? No, this, this can't be. I wanted to be like you. I wanted to help people. And it's even worse than I thought. Do you know what happens to creatures that are brought back to Sorhaven? If you're wondering about the Beastmaster, he's real. And as far as I know, he does take care of any creatures that are brought in. You're sure? I, I've seen him and the creatures he takes care of, they seem fine. Jaina, you know how I feel about harming monsters. 
In another time, I might have even helped to gather them gather gold. If I thought there would be a chance that they would come to harm, I assure you, this creature will be safe, and I, I will go what uh, do what I can to get to the bottom of what's happening in Betrebung Swamp. Clearly, most of us have been told something very different. Then, is it okay to put the shackles on this one? I, I don't know. I think it will be okay. I think a uh, uh, royal lady smells trustworthy and familiar. And I think we're doing what we can to help. All of us are. Detective, little fellow, aren't you? Hey, I like you. Well, if Fluffy thinks it's okay. All right then. Oh. Keep an eye out for those allegations, Jaina. It, it was an honor to meet you again, man. So, it was true. Yeah. Everything awful you heard happening about it was happening. And the resistance has grown true. And soon there will be conflict, fueled by the lives of those with only the best intentions. Think, or, uh, Victoria, there has to, there has to be a way for this to not come to war. I'm, I'm going to return home to talk to my father. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can set up a, a parlay at least has to be some way we can all come to an understanding. I just hope, Johnny, I just... I know you'll do your best, Victoria. Thanks, Jaina. And then the Vint is planning to set up some supply lines through Falcon Reach. So if the Rose could maybe not patrol the area as well? Right, I was wondering why you showed up conveniently. That Makes a lot of sense. I'll do what I can. The more conflict we can avoid, the better. I'll see you around, Jenina. Fluffy. Take care, Victoria. And then I came straight back here. Wow. Well, everything is going to be set up for the supply. Looks like Kara had a Tyvas listed to be the intermediary. I suppose you can return to Solineska now and let Kara know that we're all set up on our end. You're doing well, Ash? I am. A bit busy and a lot of responsibilities, but well, I had a great teacher. You! Uh, until next time, Chena. Bye, Ash! Phew, it's tough being a hero, isn't it? But Jaina, there's really no one like her. So, this is the place where you normally would get Melissa's wings and the bell wings as a bot version of these. So, now these are found among the hoarder's treasures. It just means that <laughs> a replica of Princess Melissa's wings surprisingly found amongst the hoarder's treasures. Whatever the hoarder was doing with them, you cannot imagine. So yeah, we have just caught up with the reimagined storyline. Again, because, you know, that happens every once in a while. Now that we are done with that. In the timeline, it says that after the epilogue, just a bit after, something 
Rises. It was in the background during the Tournament of Champions, in the start of the Six Heroes quest, but now, now we face the Malorus. Well met, Juno. Here you can invite Iwanta as a guest. You can change the blaster because, yes, these blasters all started out as a uncharged one that you got from somewhere then you could upgrade these to level 40 charging blasters uh, like there was level 20 a level 40 and level 90 then you could create an amalgam again level 40 60, 90, as the ones that we can do. Then you could add cores. This is based on the choice you make in the very last mission. And then there are the core removal where you can return it back to the charging one. I have the level 90 version, but that one is uh, not for everyone. Not right now, at least. And this golden cube is for a part of the Mellorus saga. We shall start. All the way at the left with senescence. This was a Friday the 13th invasion. Let's see what's happening. I'll need about 20, 10 to 20 people on the eastern barricades. Stat, it can be whoever. Archers without assignments, please head over to the western walls. Guardians, please report to Adam. Come on, people, this is not a drill. Would you look at that? Jaina, I need Jaina. Has anyone seen her? Right behind you. Oh, I didn't see you there. Good, sorry. Um, I believe I just skipped dialogue on accident. Whoopsie. Um, let's go ahead and look up the dialogue then. Video. Um, let's see, it was Sinnocence. Um, the introduction, no. Okay, uh, um, I believe you'd want to take it from here. It's alright, you're doing a great job. Thank you. After, after last time, I need to be strong. You're doing great. Don't doubt yourself. Understood. I'm awaiting my orders, sir. <laughs> I mean it. Give me an order and I'll see it done. Huh? Ah! What the heck? What's going on? Am I in space? Who's there? Show yourself, fiend. I hear your cries. Who are you? I'm the one asking the questions here. Why have you brought me here to this place? 
And so suddenly, do you want to give me a heart attack? Is this what you want? I, I could ask you the same thing. My name is Jaina. I'm a hero in Dunn Adventure. I come in peace. I am Yuanta, also a hero and an adventurer, and I come in confusion. Where are we? I don't know. I was in the middle of a conversation, and then, whoosh, I'm here. I was on my way to my grandsons. This is unbelievable. I have never seen what the planet actually looks like. Well, I have one time, but I wasn't really sightseeing. I can make out where Falcon reaches. I don't know any of these continents. I'm not from this planet. I'm pretty sure I'm from it. Just not this side. Ahem. Jaina. You want a fight? Welcome. To the firmament. Avatars. Makers. Makers? Avatars? You have been summoned to our console because Lore is in grave danger. And you two are currently the greatest line of defense on this place. Given that you have both prevented the world's destruction, you saved the world? A priest tried to bring the sun closer to Lore, to bring the age into an, the planet into an age of illumination and enlightenment. But I didn't notice anything. Exactly. On the other hand, I noticed a lack of sun for a period of time many winters ago. I assume that wasn't you. Well, not me, but yes, I helped bring it back. I see. Well, at least my world saving was without a hitch. It's not a competition. Are you finished? When your dragon shattered Valtrith's mask, Jaina, everything that he consumed was released. Including the much larger threat that we imprisoned epochs ago. How Valtrith managed to find our vessel in the target doesn't matter. What matters is that they are now free. We called them the Malaris, a group of seven. I thought there were fewer. I thought there were more. It was all so long ago. Nevertheless, a group of beings that are aligned with dusk. Aligned with darkness. Excuse me, with Shadow Scythe. We've never confirmed this. Wasn't the consensus that they were simply following the mysterious stranger? Nevertheless, they follow the ideals and philosophies of the types of what the mysterious stranger was. And this is bad. You too have been selected to deal with this. It is a great honor. You will be our champions in this matter. The first Malarus is on the move. It calls itself Senescence. It is headed toward your human settlement in Oaklore. Oaklore? Why? Does it matter? Well, yes. It's best to understand your enemy before engaging. What an archaic way to look into things. It is evil, you are good. The balance must be kept. Just dispose of it. 
Why didn't you do it? Miguel, they are our makers. You said you dealt with them before. Why can't you do it again? Blasphemy. Young one, y you shouldn't speak like that. We can't meddle. That didn't stop you in the past. You attacked Falcon Rage. I apologize for her, her behavior, my makers. This generation has absolutely no... We are not your... Ma the geriatric human female is right. We've been watching over this world for far longer than they say. We are the gods of this... It happened again. Its influence grows. I apologize, humans. You weren't supposed to witness this. What happened in your human settlement was unfortunate. Let's get back to things at hand. Sinocence is an abomination. Multiple beings battle inside it for dominance. Stay vigilant. Go! Wait, I have more... Questions. Well, what? There's no need to yell. What do you mean by all questions? Who are you? Where do you come from? What's going on? Oh, hello, strapping young gentleman. Ashley, do your thing. You're doing great. I need to get to Oaklar. Cute town. I'm sure you're doing a fine job here. What just happened? Ah, ah, the invasion is in another castle. What just happened was the intro to the firmament and to the Malaris. I will actually need to see the doomed uh, dragon amulet. Because I think we might have to fight something that's resistant to darkness. Let's go to battle. Darkness and light elementals and ancient versions of them. I like these designs. Light for these. A doom figment. And that is what these are. Doom figment. The darkness elemental. And these are of light. A destiny figment. And a light elemental. Magic fog. Uh, let's go ahead and do wind. So that we will damage both. And that is you want us. Main attack. Okay, it's a bit safer, but the waves keep coming. Heal. Now then, that we have battled some, some of the undead, I guess we can go ahead and take a look at what it is we're facing. Yeah. <laughs> 
It must be retrieved. Defend the walls. Protect her at all costs. Destroy all. Oaklor must fall. I'll be the hero. I must rescue him. Oaklor conquered. Stop the invaders. The sea grew. Kill, kill, kill! We must find the body. Brothers, sisters, rise! Oaklor ruined, taken. So much chaos. Why are you doing this? I made it. You're safe. Make it stop. Make it stop. I moan. It's getting closer. That is Senescence. A group of creatures. Stop. Google Assist opened on my phone. That was bad. And so we face more and more creatures of darkness and creatures of light working together in this fight. Beings of destiny, beings of doom, once they fought and now together in this gloom. I like that one. Well, we fought on the battle, we fought on the ground. Well, let's see who it is they're following around. This is Senescence? Stop! Stop! Continue! You are new voices. You will perish, Falby. Why are you doing this? Why are you attacking Oaklor? It doesn't matter. This abomination must be destroyed. The Makers have decreed it so. Oaklor must protect. Must destroy! Going home? You're attacking Oaklord to protect it? That doesn't make any sense. It's out of its mind. It's crazy. Don't try to reason with it. It's not attacking us right now. The invaders are at the gates. We're not invaders. We're protecting Oaklor. Destroy Oaklor! The knights must fall. Please, call off your army. Army, attack! Told you to stop wasting time. And so we face Senescence. The Innocent. Light, darkness, good, evil. Those are the resistances. I don't know, however, if it has the same resistances as it has during the infight. During the infight, if you hit it with a doom or with darkness attacks, uh, with doom or with destiny weapons, it will heal instead of be hurt. 
This is also where I think the Destiny uh, designs were fair, first featured in an enemy. And the Darkness designs as well. Because this one right here at the back is the uh, Unreal and the Ultimate Darkness Axe. This dagger is the ultimate, uh, ultimate, unreal darkness dagger. Similarly, this is the necrotic sort of doom. This is the ultimate destiny weapon. This is a non-glone version of the ultimate de uh, blinding axe of destiny. Furthermore. These are all different weapons with Doom and Destiny in them, and this is a more basic dagger. Be purified by my light! So yeah, heals on certain attacks. And inflicts DOTs on others. Doom. <laughs> that is a DOT infliction. Or it would be if it had connected. So, yeah. I am also definitely 100% right on uh, this being at least a two parter. Given that. I've been streaming for three quarters of an hour, and we're only on the first boss. Out of seven. Or, well, six and a side quest thing that is actually important. But, you know, seven. I should have shielded. Well, whatever. Hold still because, yeah, I knew that one was coming. And you want to fight is down. I hope I don't need to explain what this pun is, but in case I do need to, you want a fight is you want a fight, question mark. Also, fun information about the in version of this boss. It gets below half health, it fully heals up, and takes a permanent minus 10 all resist, and a stronger attack, in that Sinisense is losing control. So it gets one extra hit on this attack and it will uh, deal more damage. However, it also takes minus uh, 10 all. I have gotten it to minus 15, uh, minus 150 all ones. Of course, I lost then because I didn't have my shield ready, but it was fun. Four, five, six, and we've won. It 
Stow. Die, fiend. Wait. Oh, what now? Going to try talking to it again. Something's not right. We fought both light and darkness and light elementals the whole time. And on this continent, they don't usually work together. Hmm. You are right. What are darkness elementals doing attacking a peaceful settlement alongside the light? I, wait, darkness is good where you are from? Is it not here? Don't tell me you just let crazy light warriors rampage around where they please and call them heroes. Hero. I am a hero. Silence, fiend. Your trickery may work on heroes on this side of lore, but not on me. What have I become? You attacked Oglor with an army of light and darkness elementals. We just fought an entire war against you. Why would we pity you now? I want an explanation. Ugh. No. Too many voices. Home. Destroy. Freedom. Doom. Destiny. I don't understand. See, you want that? It's confused. There must be something. Are you insane too? I've been deferring to your judgment since this is your jurisdiction. But this is the kind of thing that leads to the sun going dark. There has to be a reason. No more. I will not listen to the ramblings of this thing any longer. While evil still marches forward. Stop. I was once a hero. A zero! Nothing. I had a great weapon of all. A weapon of destiny. Take it away! Lock it up! Protect it! Destroy it! But I fell in a battle against the forces of darkness. I'd hope so. You want that? Evil! Good. Light. Darkness. Fear. They left me for dead. Their weapons of darkness stuck in my body. But I was not ready to go. Must live on. Reincarnated. I survived. But I was an abomination. And the voices started. What voices? I don't hear anything. Listen to me. To me. No, me! I was felt many times. By warriors of light and warriors of darkness. But I could not die. I am losing control. Lost control. Kill them. Protect, oh Glor. I'm home. Have mercy and my torment. Please. Satisfied, Jaina? Yes, but light and darkness. One adventure at a time, hero. This hero's adventure is coming to a close. Do your duty. Hey, you're right. One last question if you can still hear us. Who are the Malaris? Names. I remember many names. We are citizens. Malaris, I don't. Where did that come from? Show yourself. What's done is done. The makers have decided for us, it seems. You want that? I don't think that was the Avatars. Well, 
We certainly haven't been kidnapped again yet. Aren't you worried? How are you going to get home? <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in years. Home? Home can wait. My children can take care of my grandkids well enough without me. Do you have a place to stay? You have to mention that there are more of the Malibus. I'm sure we can set you up with a room at the Inn of Valkyrie. So be it. I shall stay and I shall pray to the Maker. I suppose you heathens don't even have a proper shrine to them. I will have to get on that. That handsome young man hangs out near the end, doesn't he? <sighs> anyway, I need to check if everyone is alright there. You? You go on ahead. The house whispers. Yes. This will do nicely. You can get a portrait of Timmy. A portrait of Timmy, the best ca uh, cactus whose life you saved after Simpson's invasion of Okoraki. Simpson's has been destroyed, but what of the other Malorus? And we got the level 40 version of the trinket. This is good. This means we can equip it immediately. And it also has way better stats than this one. Save. Now he'll have returned to Falcon Reach. Because as you just saw, we just faced the first of the Malorus, Sinisons, and saw the rest of them. See, that's what you see if you try to go there now. You can go to the war and rewatch the firmament and everything. Now then, this was the next one the next friday the 13th and then i'm not really sure i even want to go to the gala but i guess i have to oh when i asked how you were doing i didn't expect you to tell me your entire life story. Makers. Ah, sorry, there's just a lot going on in my life right now. And it was good to have uh, someone to talk to does, doesn't just keep asking for dragon snacks. What about you? Me? Yeah, tell me about yourself. I'm sure you've had many adventures and stories of your own to tell. Are you calling me old? No. Not at all, I just thought that <laughs> I'm joking. I'm well aware of my age and my experience. We still have some time before the 13th day you people dread so much begins. So I suppose I could share some of my story. I come from Lashayak, the land of adventures. I was raised by wolves in the big tree forest. Wolves? Yes, I never knew my real parents. But how did that work? Were they big wolves? Did they teach you how to read and do maths? They were my family, Jenna, and they were all killed by bandits when I was still young. I'm sorry, I didn't know. 
Of course you didn't. I left Swore Refange and left Big Tree. So yeah, Big Tree Forest. In my travels I met a hermit living in the deepest glades of Endless Marsh, who taught me the ways of humans, introduced me to the glory of the Makers, and bestowed upon me this sword I now carry. With the tracking scales I learned in my youth, I eventually found the very same group and the group that slew my family, and I had revenge. After I had cut down the last of the uh, mm, bandits, when going through their belongings, I found that they had been hired by a woman named Leeville. High Priestess Leeville, the advisor to the Holy Throne. It was her who was responsible for my family's deaths. And so, I traveled the breadth of La Shag, gathering allies and training in order to ultimately infiltrate the Dark Palace in the city of Rex Machina, the seat of the Holy Watch of La Shag. The Dark Palace? The use of the element of darkness is very prominent in the Shayek. I believe the Dark Palace was named us by our ancestors in a rather less creative time. But don't you worship the uh, Makers? <laughs> the Makers are not the same as magic, Jaina. And here we have Spruce being Spruce. Just because we have an affinity for a specific element does not mean we uh, do not worship the makers equally. Huh, I see. Anyway, eventually our party of I, you want to dance the Sir Sir uh, <laughs> Don't fight the healer. Don't fight the healer. Uh, yes, I'm here. The bard. And put in strength the archer. Infiltrated the dark palace under the guise of pilgrims. We confronted the high priestess with her heresy, and as I prepared to behead her before the holy throne, my sword burst with the vibrance of the makers, and all in attendance watched as it, guided by the makers, eradicated that evil from our lands. Afterwards, we were healed as heroes, saviors of the Holy Watch of Lashay. Well, with the period of deeds, don't fight, and I married and settled down in the outskirts of Rex Machina. But peace could not last forever. After many years of harmony, word came that I as Pulling had gone missing during uh, the a routine pilgrimage to the shrines of the makers. Turns out a priest of light had somehow come into unimaginable power. The Holy Throne requested the Fate family, Fight family to once more come to its aid. Thus began my quest to stop Bright the Sun and the priest, spending many, many years with the concluding with his destruction and the salvation of lore. Wow, that's a lot to take in. <laughs> My story was longer. It wasn't a competition. Thank you, Yuanta. I feel like I know you a little bit better now. I'll be sure with our combined uh, abilities, we'll be able to put a stop to whatever threatens lore next. Perhaps. It's very late, Jaina. While this was educational, I really must head to bed. You should too. Right, tomorrow is a big day. Good night, Iwanta. I need about 10 to 20 people on the Eastern Barricade stat. It can be whoever. Archers without assignments, please head over to the Western Walls. Guardians, please report to Adam. Come on, people, this is not a drill. 
Would you look at that? Jaina, I need Jane. Has anyone seen her? Right behind you. Oh, I didn't see you there. Good, sorry. Um, I believe you'd want to take it from here. It's alright, you're doing a great... Hold on. I feel like... Thank you. After... Ash, wait, something is wrong. After last time, I need to be stronger. This has already happened. Understood. Ash? <laughs> okay, this is getting creepy. Huh. This is different. Who's there? Show yourself, fiend. I hear your cries. You want that? I'm the one asking questions. Why have you brought me here to this place? And so suddenly, do you want to give me a heart attack? Is this what you want? Wait. I'm Yuanta, also a hero and an adventurer. But I come in confusion. Where are we? Right. Now you're going to mention your grandson. That was on my... How do you know about him? Oh. Oh! This is different too. What do you know about my grandkids? Yuanta, it's me. I don't know what's happening, but... You will ruin the day. You kidnap me, fiend. You want to stop? And do you see why I didn't invite her to my party? Okay, so uh, there were very, very brief moments of splits uh, of uh, flashes of light and different things. The things that were uh, that were. Uh, left out, as it were, is uh, after Iwanta said, uh, I was on my way, someone in an inverted color screen said, let's try a little bit of this. And then Iwanta just went ahead. And equally briefly, just before the second flash, was just not this side. That part was happening there. In the inverted was and action. So let's face you want that fight. This version is so much stronger, it's not even funny than the one we get. Also, Bright the Sun and Level that were mentioned are indeed in challenges. To be specific, they are the Lost Legends challenges, I believe. Uh, Lost Fables, rather. Bright the Sun blinds a lot. It's really annoying. I used the wrong one. Damn it. Okay, we didn't do as much damage as I wanted to in this time. And now it has all fallen. Okay, let's be defensive for a bit. And overcome this. And with a BOT on there as well. Bam. We have so much damage. Also, 
you might notice that this trinket does not currently have a uh, have a uh, what's it called an active skill that's because this started out as good stats it gets the active skill in a couple of upgrades Luckily, we didn't get based this time. And luckily for Yuanta, we get, well, that time. Oh, she wasn't real. Hmm. Are you doing this, Avatar? Is this some kind of lesson? Because I'm not getting it. Outstanding. So, you from the Chosen Two are the more capable one. I'm pleased to know. Who are you? I mean, well, I guess you're one of the Malaris, yes? How about that? You are a clever one. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Remthalos. Cool. I'm glad you showed up so quickly. I was instructed to dispose of you and your group. Tss, tss, tss. Will you do it though? I'm not sure. The avatars have clearly stated that you are evil and you have to be dealt with. So there's this pressure of abiding by their rules. But I want to know what exactly you, the Malorus, have done to anger the avatars so much. <clears throat> that is <laughs> what evils have you committed so that I can feel good about myself when I defeat you I need to know that my actions are just the fuck I I didn't say that but the rings reveal your true thoughts. I don't I don't really think that you Dreams have no filter. Anything can happen within a dream. Dreams can change you. You put that in my head. Maybe. Maybe not. Dreams are so fascinating, are they not? You're in my dream right now. My dream. Or is it your dream? Imagine what would happen if you woke up and you were still in someone else's dream. What would happen if they woke up? Would the world stop existing? You wouldn't believe me if I told you about the dreams I've seen, the dreams I've experienced. I've been in so many of them. Yet, so many, yet they slumber. But never dream. Oh, but if only they dreamed. Perhaps I would be able to change reality itself. Anyway, I got what I came for. You. I like you. I choose you. And because I'm feeling well rested today, here are some advice. Two of my colleagues are preparing something. Don't get your festive hopes up. We'll meet again soon. For now, enjoy this peaceful day. It's on me. Time to wake up. Or are you going to sleep? So, what did he say there? 
Well, the thing he said briefly is, or are you going to sleep? And we have uh, the most, most annoying bit. You equip this class and then you don't get to fight in it. Ah, well, I'm never sleeping again. Oh, Jaina. Welcome, champions. Come on, what if I was on the tire? Give us a little heads up before doing this. Avatars. A little respect, Jaina. What are they doing even thinking? Wait, what do you still have your armor on? Is this a problem? You sleep in your armor? Of course. From the moment I wake up, I'm ready for an adventure. Fair point. Um, We have summoned you here again, because another of the Malarus has revealed itself. I know, I just met him. Elaborate. He appeared in my dreams. Ramthalos. A water elf from the Abyssal tribe, the former devout of Cathalacho. The dream fairer. The spreader of lies. He said that today will be peaceful and something about festivals. Ugh. I hate it when you forget what your dream was about after you moments after you wake up. Does that mean there won't be an invasion today? I... Was I... Was I looking forward to it? You spoke to it? Well, he did most of the talking. Have you been compromised? W wait, what? We have explicitly told you to dispose of the Malaris members. Not to fraternize with them. I wasn't fraternizing. Calm yourself, Kianos. You must be wary of discourse with the Malarus. They will plant the seeds of doubt in your mind. The seeds are disruptive. When they are allowed to take root and grow, they could reach the sky and cloud your judgment. And your judgment must be unwavering. So what you're saying is that I have to be obedient to you? I can't make my own judgment? <sighs> Apologies for my outburst. Please, Eftars, tell me what exactly have the Malaras done that's so horrible? All I remember... You, from what you said before, is that they are bad, bad, and have to be dead, dead. I did not get that feeling from Cinescence. It was more confused than evil, and neither did I get that. They are evil, Jaina. They are bringers of chain, of war, of destruction. Pity them, if you wish. But be assured that they should they be left to their devices. Lore would become uninhabitable. They must be destroyed. If you ask them why they do their deeds, you will receive a different answer from each. Yet the seed of their evil is the same. You must have faith, Jaina. The makers know their enemies. There's no way to save them from the seed of evil. We will not interfere as long as you do your duty as our champion. One way or another, 
This thrust must be neutralized. But you must not let shadow doubt your uh, doubt shadow your actions. For in that doubt the seed flourishes. If the malarus were to escape your grasp through my or deceptions and the consequences will be dire as to the matter of today it seems that the impending malarus influence we detected has retreated most curious you may return for now our champions but we shall be watching well that's one way to start the day. So, we have for now equipped Sleepy Hero. Unfortunately, that's not an actual class and we can't actually do anything with it. So we will equip our base class after this. This is highly, highly annoying. Other quest loot, we get the Abyssal Elf Scepter. It's a pretty staff, I guess. A pretty scepter, scythe. It's just also useless in upgrading the uh, everything. Um. Let us go ahead and destroy the tournament ship. Because you couldn't sell that for anything either. And then... Yeah, we're going to destroy these. This guy's Velwyn's things. They will probably be useful sometime. Also, this sells for 13 gold, that's fine. You found this curious scepter under your bed after you woke up. It has property of Renthalas scribbled on the handle. I'm sure it's perfectly safe to use. Definitely not a, tra a trap. It's not actually. There are, I believe, no special interactions with using that for anything. Now then, let's bank some of our stuff. Specifically the runestone. And then destroy foul winds items, which sounds very evil. Um, yeah, let's just destroy them. Unfortunate that they take up a lot of space and aren't that useful. And so it is better to really just destroy them and then be done with it. Now then. Take on the color custom cryptic and equip everything and we have some stuff left over and then hide this helm and save this as our looks so now we look awesome then heal and go to falcon reach So, two of Ramthalas' colleagues are entering and making some preparations for the festivals. The next uh, Friday the 13th fell on during the uh, 
what's it called, during the holiday season, and so during Frostfall. This will introduce several characters who regularly appear in Frostfall and not outside of it. And so we will be um, met with characters that we are supposed to already know, but don't since I haven't done any of that yet. So, that was Remthalas. Let's look here. Champions. We have detected activity of one of the Malorus. Its presence has been located in the far reaches of the Northlands. Far to the north. Oh, come on. Frostville. Oh, isn't that where we were headed before the Makers brought us here? Yes. Where you celebrate Frostfall, yes, with the frost, and there are frost margolins. And warm mugs of cocoa berry juice and a big fire and presents too. It sounds quite comfortable. You too have the attention span of a silverfish. Apologies, makers. Sorry. Where were we? Ah, it has been detected in the Northlands. It is exerting its influence on the area, and the Mogolans and other inhabitants of the region are in danger of falling prey to its machinations. Makers, not the Frost Mogolans. We've never met them, and never mind. What in the, is the name of this Malarus? Does it matter? It is nameless. Oh. The name it calls itself is literally nameless. Oh, a, a very creative Malorus then. What else can you tell us about it? It possesses toys. That's how it infiltrates its prey's territories. Abominable. Huh. I think I've dealt with possessed toys before, actually. Your previous experience will prove invaluable in this situation. That was a previous frost uh, fail event. That uh, frostmas event where you had to deal with possessed uh, plushies coming to life. Your previous experience will prove invaluable in this endeavor. Nonetheless, we are going to aid you this time. That's new. You aid us every day, makers, in our daily lives. We have selected an individual with a similar skill set to that of the nameless, who is going to prove useful in your endeavor. One whom you have met before, hero of Falcon Reach. Oh no. You don't mean... And then they summoned a new puppy with a fresh sacrifice of a... What? Sally? Um... A child? Who... Greetings, Sally. Wait a minute, Eftars. Let us explain everything to you. One. Exposition later. Ah, so the bad toy is making all the fuzzy wuzzy muggling sad, and not only that, it's stepping on my turf? That is correct, child. Wait, wait, does this mean Sally is your chosen hero of the after now? I must agree with the Jaina makers. With all due respect, she's merely a child. We know you are more than capable of keeping her safe. Her expertise in this matter is unparalleled. She was the cause of the previous uh, possessed toys, or her predecessor was. She, through sheer force of will, has kept herself from going and growing older. 
for at least a decade. Hero. I don't want to be a hero. That's gross. See? Even she doesn't want to. You will obey the Avatar, Sally. Yeah. Gosh, when you put it that way, I guess I don't have a choice. It's fine, Jaina, Grandma Lady. I can handle this. If this nameless is Ty, then I can play with him, right? Okay. That's not the purpose. Oh, has you. Huh. I don't know how I feel about this. Don't worry, little lady. We'll keep you safe. <laughs> don't apologize. Uh, patronize me, old lady. Ha! Oh, no, you don't. Keep moving, keep moving. That's Ice Monster Yeffy's voice. You want that? Come, Sally, stay close with us. I'm ready. Ice Monster, Master Yeffy, we're here. Good timing, Jaina. I see you've brought some friends. I'm afraid introductions will have to wait, though. Help us clear out this mess. You want that? On it. <laughs> Don't strain yourself, Granny. I've got this. Ouch. I'm sleepy. Wow, Sally. That was an outstanding display of darkness magic. Good start, uh, job, Sally. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sally, who was it? That was impressive. Uh, I'm sorry, Ice Master, but time is of the essence. Have you seen where have these toys been coming from? Further north. But there was nothing out there but snow and old trees. The toys just Appeared. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Is everyone all right? I think so. I haven't had a chance to count. I see. Make sure everyone is accounted for while I go and investigate where these toys appeared. You want that? Please stay with Sally until I return. Keep everyone safe. Understood, Jaina. Be careful. Thank you for saving us, Miss. Uh, you're all so adorable. I think I was talking to the toys. Oh. Oh. What is. Well, 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 well. Isn't this just swell? I've been watching you, Jaina. Nameless, I assume? That's Mr. Nameless to you. A great amigo. I was gonna try reasoning with you, but since you've attacked Frostfell already, this is personal. I'm afraid I can't let you do the, whatever it is you're trying to do. You must have so many friends, don't you? So many people who love you, don't you? Uh, that's kind of changing the topic, but... Let's play a little game. I will smother you with affection. I will send you so many gifts you'll suffocate. To be honest, that doesn't sound like a very fun game. If I win, you and your friends will be mine. And if we win? Oh! <laughs> and that was Mr. Names. Of the Melorus we have seen, this one 
was the one who was watching from the garbage dump. Remthalas was the one watching in his dream chamber. The one directly observing. We won't meet for a very, very long time. Welcome to the end of Child's Play and the Nameless War. We had, we had to battle a plucked plushie and a mannequin. Should have summoned Fluffy. Immobility resists and none. These mannequin movesets are actually pretty awesome. This is a face cracker. You probably know where this one is from. If you don't, it's a nutcracker. The mannequin is one of those drawing mannequins. The ones you can pose and do funny stuff with. And that one inflicts either a boost or a DOT on full hit. It didn't get a full hit, so we don't have to worry about it. And this is a scary doll. One of the things that Sally always brings with her. Now, for once, not her who is... It's not her who is facing us. One wave down, but the toys just the dot more common. So we have the Moglin rescue mission unlocked now. Oh well, you unlock that at halfway mark. This is one of these missions. Just cling to the right side and uh Make certain that it dies. And then you've won. These smugglings are safe, but the toys are not stopping from smuggling napping. So then, after many many waves we would face mr nameless this was a short war a very short one actually it took like a week or so it's done name mr nameless we've won we're done with your game It's... It's not fair! I can't ever be beaten at my game! You cheated! You and your friends! Yes, it's because you have friends, isn't it? You have help! If I had friends, real friends, I would have won! Well, I'm not done yet! I'm gonna kill your friends, and make them my friends, and see how you like being alone! And then I'm gonna kill you till you die from it! Stop! 
Stella. Stop it. It's hurting. What is this kid on about? Sally, get back here, young lady. No. Mr. Nameless. Would you like to be my friend? What? 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 You said you had no friends. I can be your friend. I don't like when toys are in pain. And I don't like when they're alone and they have no home. Sally, you've been attacking a village of defenseless muggins. For a grown-up. You're so stupid. It's because he's lonely. Um, I don't know if that just... Shh. Mr. Nameless, you must have been alone for so many years. Your owner was a bad, mean person for abandoning you. But they're not here anymore. But I am. Forever. You... You're... Who are you? <laughs> I am Sally, your new best friend. But do, do you mean it? Yes, silly. What is happening? I'm not entirely sure. We better be on guard. Do you really want to be my friend? Of course. We can play and have tea parties and have all the fun in the world. Can you? Some people might be mad at you for attacking stupid muglins, but I don't care about any of that. Should we do something about this? I, I don't know. Shame. The makers told us to, but I, yes, I will be your friend, Sally. Yay! Super! Mr. Nameless, can you make Frost feel normal again? Pretty please? Yeah, okay. I didn't see this coming. Neither did I. From now on, you're Mr. Twinkles. Let's go, Mr. Twinkles. Take my hand. As for you, it's past your back time. Remthalas. What have you done to her, demon? She's just asleep. Why, what are you doing here? Why have you done this? What does it look like? I'm doing your job for you. Honestly. You're making me regret choosing you. I'll put you to rest. <sighs> Wouldn't that be a blessing? You want that? What do you want? I want to free you. I want you to help me free others. I'm not going to help you. <sighs> you simply need to be properly motivated. How fascinating are the dreams of children, of those young ones who have not experienced enough of the world that their minds imagine creates to fill in the gaps. Really, what were you thinking, bringing a child on such a dangerous quest? Well. We have the avatars to thank for that. I wonder. I wonder what would happen if a child who, through sheer will, 
refuses to grow up were to have her dreams magnified. Shall we find out together? Oh, please excuse me. I'd like to monologue in peace if you don't mind. As I've said, you simply need to be properly motivated. Reach the child before the last sand falls, and she'll be free. Fail to do so, and it's okay. It won't be your fault, it will be mine. Ah. Ah. Sally! It's not your fault. Welcome to Ramthalos' War! Here we could get the Frostfall gift once we broke the mold. We could get Yuanta's blaster upgraded. And we had to fight six million more waves. And these were different than the one that Mr. Nameless used. Karabasan. Pasikta. Okay, so I don't know if these are named for puns specifically, but Pasigdar is Dutch for do I fit there? Or well, Pasigdar, which is written with two A's instead of an H and an A. But that's the only difference. So I think that it fits for it, but Karabasan. I don't know whether or not that's a pun. A vast ocean stretches into the distance in front, behind and above you. Where are you going? There was also a Drima pulled. You missed. Still boom. And they're just throwing Cicero at the sun to destroy the things that live upon it. And there is another planet there. And so we will do one more. Santa. I like these. These are interesting designs. And this one has been used before. This exact character or maybe the back of the head is a bit different. But the rest I know for certain has been used before.
and now we shall break the mold. I thought this was supposed to uh, be a dream. Why am I getting tired in a dream? Sally, where are you? Oh, right, she's asleep. It's not like she could. Sally! You reached the girl in time. Well done. And that was an impressive display of perseverance and determination. Where is Sally? The child is not in danger. You, on the other hand. Let's see what your dream stays like. Remphalos. Face me and fall. A pliable dream, a balancing act, it just needs a little push. Did that have any effects? No, no, it did not. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. The dream of righteous fury, fierce but one dimensional. Plus fifty crits, which will get through our shield if he gets one which he didn't and since you have no more shield He's glitching out a bit. Well done! You just keep impressing me. Stop playing these games with me. Tell me what you want to release me. What I want... What I want is for you to be free. You keep saying that. That you want to free this, free that. And that you want to free me. I am free! I'm free to do as I want, free to make my own choice. No, you are not. What? You are chained by circumstance, shackled by destiny. What do you mean? You are living out their dreams. Even now, you're just one of so many doing the bidding of other beings, as I once did. But then, I traded one messed up for another. Ah, but now I am free. I am trying to help you. I want to help everyone. You can speak, you know. You speak of freeing me, but you're the one who trapped me in a dream. I'm listening, but all I hear are contradictions. Ah. I'm not good at communicating. Ironic, isn't it? I'm sure all this all uh, sounds convoluted and contradictory to you. But you just need to open your eyes to the beauty of the whole picture. 
That's great. Are you done now? Can I leave now? I've won. I reached Sally before the last rain fell. So free me. Let me go. Certainly, but don't you have an obligation to the avatars? I'm right here. In our little scuffle. Well, it wasn't really serious, was it? Wouldn't you just be playing more games with me? Is every fight against you here in the dreams just more tests? Hm. I'd have liked to see you try harder. Something to work on before next time then. After all, anything can happen in dreams. Maybe you're just used to underestimating your own abilities. Until we meet again, Chena. Oh. Sally! Uh. Mm. You want to? Are you alright? I've been better. What a nightmare. Jaina, are you all, is everything okay? You all just kind of collapsed for a moment there. And um, that elf person vanished. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Wait, just for a moment? Yeah, we were about to fetch some of our healings when you all popped right back up. It felt a lot longer. Well, we're glad to see that you're all fine. With all the danger out of the way, we can start setting up for the Frostfall feast. Sally? Yes? I have a great-granddaughter who's your age. She's very brave, just like you. We did really well with Mr. Mangus. Stopping him would have been a lot more difficult without you. Mr. Twinkles. Yes, I know. I hate this fish guy. I hate him, hate him, hate him! But it's going to be okay. Twinkles just need a... Mr. Twinkle just needs a new head. Everything will be okay. I, you, why don't you show me how you celebrate Frostfall? It is my first one. Maybe that will keep your mind off of this business. Okay. S Sally? You want to? Where, what happened? Where's... Well done, champions. The nameless presence has disappeared. We have returned the child to her place of origin. Oh, uh, phew. Don't scare us like that. We thought we lost her once already. Speaking of which, can we not have any more children as champions? There are way too many moral quandaries with putting children in danger just for an easier chance with the Malarus. Sally was never intended to be a champion. More so an asset. Asset or not, let's not bring any children into this, um, please? My makers, if I may be allowed to speak freely. You may. I agree with Tina. There was no doubt that Sally was a powerful ally, and her presence did aid us. But she was put in too much risk. Had we been unable to save her, I... I was not comfortable with this, my makers. Perhaps we should have better foreseen these complications of successes. Your concern will be taken into consideration. Great, now, if we're not in any further, needed any further, can we celebrate Frostfall in peace? What of Remthalas? Huh? We sensed his influence briefly. That is why we summoned you now. We assume you confronted him. Um, Sally had almost neutralized Mr. Twinkles. Nameless. Mr. Neutralized Mr. Na Mr. Nameless. When Ramthalas appeared and destroyed the uh, Malarus. Why? We don't know. Maybe the Malarus aren't really working together. 
It is a possibility. They may be fighting among themselves for power. It is in their nature. And makes them all the more dangerous to lore. Champions, we understand that our missions are for you are difficult. The Malaris may attempt to appeal to a more volatile facet of the mind. It is reassuring that you are willing to speak of your failures. So we thank you for your honesty. We must and deliberate on these matters. Well done, champions. Oh, come on. Couldn't they have teleported us back to Frostvale? The makers work in mysterious ways, Jaina. And so, we have faced Mr. Nameless. We had saved Mr. Nameless. And we faced Ramthalas. And then, after a short journey, you and Iwanta finally returned to Frostvale. The Frostmorgulans were slightly confused with all the appearing and disappearing people. After some warm cockaberry juice and a hearty feast, a happy frost fail was had by all. And we get the dream glass ring. We can also upgrade Yuanta's blaster by getting a Lachaic capacitor gem, which is gotten in the next act. There were also the Frostfall Gifts, which these are pretty, very pretty, but uh, yeah, and then this one, the Lachey Capacitor Jet, a charging version of it. It has better stats now. The Dream Glass Amulet, on the other hand, a Dream Glass Ring, is the minus strength and minus dex, but plus int ring. This is the level 1 version of it. There is also a very powerful, or level 10 version, there's a far more powerful, uh, one that is available um, alone together no. breaking the mold the level 9 version of the uh, green the 9 version of the dream glass ring gives you plus 20 plus 45 intelligence Minus 20 dex, minus 20 strength, and plus 10 uh, bonus. But this is all for this week. Next week, we will face part of the rest of the Malarus. And we shall see exactly what their goals are. I will see you all then.